evening, dear friends. Peace and joy of Christ to you all. I am Cynthia Payera, and today I am going to share my short testimony on how the Word of God has helped me to overcome my fear of speaking in front of a crowd. Last year, I was in the third grade, and to be honest, I was a very shy girl. I would not speak or raise my hand in class, even though I knew the answers. I would prepare the projects that were asked and keep them ready for the class. But when the teacher would ask who had done the work to show it in front of the camera, I would not raise my hand, even though I had my project completed. In the month of January 2021, my English teacher announced that there would be an English, English recitation competition. She said it wasn't compulsory, but she kept encouraging more of us to fill up the registration form for the competition. I was more than happy that it wasn't compulsory as I didn't want to speak in front of the whole class. I told my mother and grandmother about the competition. They advised me to fill in the form, but I didn't want to. They forced me to. They gave me two Bible verses to say, to say before filling the form. The first one is Philippines chapter 4, verses 13, which says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The second one is Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6, which says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. I really love these two Bible verses and used to keep saying them whenever I felt the fear coming back to me. I started preparing for my recitation and would sometimes even recite the same to my uncle back in India. The selection day was coming soon and again I was feeling nervous. I kept reciting the two Bible verses before the selection began. I got the confidence and said my poem, well, though I forgot a few expressions. My mother told me not to worry as it was taking part which was important and not winning or losing. A few days later, I was surprised to get an email that my teacher that said I was selected for the final round. I was very happy to get the email. I now had to prepare for the final round, which was within a week. And this time, there would be more judges to judge us. Oh no, I started getting a bit worried. I kept saying my Bible verses and praying that this time I would not forget my expressions. On the day of the final round, I was thinking to myself that I will look at the other children say so that I will get time to go to the poem with them and also see how they are expressing themselves. But to my surprise, the teacher picked me up to start with the competition. I didn't know what to do. I just put my trust in the Lord and said the poem. I was feeling better after the recitation as the worry of the final round was over. A few days later, I my results were declared, and guess what? I got the third prize in the competition. You know, friends, the devil is the father of lies, and he operates with lies. The one way he can get into our thinking is through our thoughts. He was trying to make me believe that. Don't, take, don't put your hand up, or you will make a fool of yourself. Don't take part or you will fail. Those were his eyes and this time I chose not to be 
believe in them. But instead, I chose to listen to my mother and grandmother. By stepping out in faith, not only did I overcome my fear, but was also able to come out as a winner. I just want to tell you all that for every lie the devil tells us, there's a promise in the word of God that helps us to counteract it, which is the truth. The devil says you will fail, but the word of God says, I can do things with Christ who gives me the strength. The devil said you will make a fool of yourself, but the word says, I have not given you a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of love, power, and sound mind. We have to recognize the lies of the devil. Do not listen to it. Instead, counteract it with the word of God. Whatever your problems may be, maybe it's temptation, get lies, or getting scared, or playing some bad video games, please, Please take the word of God and use it as a weapon against the lies of the devil. I give all glory to God for helping me to overcome my fear and for teaching me to trust in the Lord and not on my own understanding. Thank you all for listening.